I mean, that, that's the raddest thing about Tom. Like, you could tell he was doing everything, you know, for the fun of skateboarding, you know, not for no, like, magazines or no, like, fame or money or any of that stuff. Like, you know, that's what made him look so bloody natural and, and everything, you know. Like, he, he did everything for himself, you know. He's in his own little penny world, doing his own own thing. You know, he'd go to contests and he'd just, he'd just be cruising around, just, like, milling about. And, you know, that's what made him so rad, you know. Like, he'd go to places and just blow everyone's mind and he wouldn't even know it. He was just relaxing, just, you know, taking the time, just pissing about and doing whatever the hell he wanted. That's what made him a king. I mean, he had enough, he had enough of people just coming up to him and just telling him, you know, he was the shit and everything. He was the best skateboarder. Like, he didn't, he didn't want to hear that. That's not what got him out, you know, like, he was just down for skateboarding, just, you know, pure skateboarder. That's what he enjoyed. You know, and that, that's why it seemed like he dropped off the face of the earth, you know. He's, throughout the whole time he's been skateboarding, he's just been ruling, you know. He just didn't care about the whole, you know, I'm the raddest, I'm this, I'm that, you know. Like, he didn't care about it, and that's why he left California and moved away for a while. Just so he could enjoy his skateboarding and, and do what he wanted.